Today we'll be discussing BiPAP machines. What are they and do you need one? Now the term BiPAP stands for Bilevel Positive Airway Pressure and it is a registered trademark of the Philips Respironics company. Now, as far as the therapy goes, it's, a, it, it's very commonly used for everybody to say it's a BiPAP when it's bilevel therapy. A bilevel machine is a device that can help patients with uh, respiratory problems, COPD, uh, even congestive heart failure, asthma, and there's a multitude of others. Now, how do you know if you need a BiPAP? Patients with uh, sleep apnea sometimes want to know what's a BiPAP, what's, an, what's a CPAP, what's an APAP. Well, when you, if you're already a sleep apnea patient and you're wondering if BiLevel is good for you, you have to have failed CPAP therapy to go on to BiPAP therapy, or at least speak to your doctor to see if BiPAP therapy is right for you. For a more detailed video, check on the link above. BiLevel therapy has two pressures. If you compare it to CPAP therapy, which is commonly used to treat uh, sleep apnea, CPAP therapy is one continuous pressure for inhalation and exhalation. Bilevel therapy is one pressure for inhalation, which is the IPAP, and one pressure for the exhalation, which is the EPAP. IPAP stands for inhalation positive airway pressure, and EPAP stands for expiratory positive airway pressure. Now, on a bilevel, the two pressures control something different. The EPAP, which is the expiratory positive airway pressure, controls the patient's oxygenation, how the oxygen gets through to the body. The IPAP, which is the inhalation positive airway pressure, controls the amount of volume of air that comes into the body. So you wanna make sure, because CPAP only has one pressure, remember. Sleep apnea patients can benefit from bilevel therapy because it makes it more comfortable to use a BiPAP rather than a CPAP. When you're using a CPAP, you have one constant pressure just blowing in, blowing in, blowing in for inhalation and exhalation. So it makes it very difficult and it actually lessens the severity of the main complaint of CPAP therapy, which the main complaint of CPAP therapy is when patients exhale, they feel like they can't get the breath out. Using a BiPAP, it lessens that, that, that feeling because when you're gonna exhale, the, the bi-level, it goes down a little bit and it lets you exhale. So that's why you have that higher pressure and the lower pressure. Now, for those patients that have claustrophobia or at risk of vomiting, you guys might want to speak to your physician, see if there's an alternate route of therapy for you. Patients that have a higher risk of vomiting, that have acid reflux and things like that, you're at a higher risk of a, of a aspiration. Patients that are claustrophobic, you're going to have, be having to put a mask on your face that is going to make you feel like you're in an, an enclosed situation. So that's also why you might want to speak to your physician, but you can always practice makes perfect. And I tell my patients, if you can't tolerate it, just try a little bit at a time. You're not trying to run a marathon the first time that you go out to practice. You want to little by little practice to be able to run that full marathon. As for me, I've been a sleep apnea patient for many years. Recently, I've had to switch over to a BiPAP because I, I could not tolerate the CPAP pressures anymore. And for those patients that are getting into the higher pressures, Especially, you know, when you gain some weight, a BiPAP might help you adjust because that lower exhalation pressure will help you get used to the machine better. You might ask, what BiPAP machine or bi-level machine do I buy? Now, there is many machines on the market. Uh, one of the main uh, machines on the market at the moment is the, the Air Curve from ResMed. Here we have the ResMed Air Curve 10. Now, the Air Curve 10 is your standard BiPAP which is gonna have an IPAP and an EPAP. But this machine has various uh, variations of it. There's the, Vi the VPAP ST, which also has the IPAP, EPAP, but it add, you can add a breath rate, so a, a patient will always have a breath triggered even if they're not triggering a breath. Um, that works very good for patients with central sleep apnea or patients with other conditions. Um, there's also the, the VPAP Auto, which is the V-Auto, it allows you to put in a maximum uh, pressure, like a max pressure, a minimum EPAP, and a pressure support. And it'll vary with the, up, up until that max pressure that you set in. Uh, there's also the, the ASV, which the ASV will allow you to put an EPAP, and it'll put a minimum pressure support and a maximum pressure support. All those machines are used to treat uh, different conditions and different variations of sleep apnea. Speak to your physician to see which one's right for you. 
If you're worried about switching over from your CPAP machine to a BiPAP machine because you think, oh man, I might have to buy a new mask, your, your current mask will work with a BiPAP. All the BiPAPs and CPAPs, the fittings are standard, so you're gonna be able to use the same mask that you currently use with your CPAP with your BiPAP. Now, it might not be recommended, especially if your mask is ancient and it's like about 20 years old, you won't, you're gonna to wanna to get a new mask. Most manufacturers recommend to replace the entire mask every three months. Uh, some of them recommend some cushions to be changed every two weeks or every month, depending on what mask you have. BiPAP therapy is not something that you want to be scared of. It's not something that you want to run away from. It's something you want to run towards. Bilevel therapy is just something that can help you, uh, especially those sleep apnea patients that can't get used to the CPAP, uh, COPD patients, uh, even ALS patients. There's a multitude of patients that BiPAP therapy can help. And we recommend to always speak to your doctor to see what's the right therapy for you. Not to say if you use a CPAP that a BiPAP is gonna be better for you. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's better to stay on a CPAP. But that's, that's something that you have to talk with your doctor and see what's the best option for you. There is a big difference in price between a CPAP and a BiPAP. CPAPs range from the $600 to $1,000 range. BiPAPs range from the $1,200 range to the $3,000 range. So it's a pretty big difference. It all depends on what type of therapy you need. As far as pressure, CPAPs range from a pressure of four to 20, and BiPAPs range from a pressure of four to 25. Now, remember, on a BiPAP, you have two pressures. You have that max pressure and you have the minimum pressure. So let's say you're at an, at an IPAP of 20 and an EPAP of 10, you need both pressures to be able to get the BiPAP. Just as with CPAP therapy, BiPAP therapy, you can have a humidifier, you can have climbing line tubing. Uh, most manufacturers, their machines look very similar to a CPAP, so you wouldn't be able to tell right off the bat the, the difference between a CPAP and a BiPAP unless you know to what to look for. Uh, take ResMed for example. ResMed, their CPAPs, all their line of CPAPs are all black machines. Now, the same compatible BiPAP for uh, ResMed, they're beige with a little silver front. So right off the bat, from just looking at them, by the color, you know the difference. But the shape of the machine and the look of the machine is identical. So some patients ask, why so much of a price difference? Well, it's all about the technology inside the machine that makes, the, makes up for the price. Some of you may be wondering, what about Philips Respironics? Philips Respironics does have a line of CPAP and BiPAP machines. Currently at the moment, since all their machines are under a recall, they do have the DreamStation 2 CPAP but we have no word yet on their DreamStation 2 bi-level therapy. We hope that this video helps you understand bi-level therapy just a little bit better. If you have any comments of something I missed, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a beat. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Ozzy. I'm the respiratory therapist with sleepplay.com. Until next time.